You have a family member who's uh, been born with uh, Down syndrome, um, and maybe there are certain developmental uh, uh, delays that you've experienced with your child who was born with Down syndrome, and possibly there's other health conditions like diabetes, and, and maybe there's other kinds of health conditions that have uh, come up in your child's life uh, along with the Down syndrome. Um, so my name is Dr. Herman. I'm here with a patient's uh, mother. This is Mrs. Uh, Dyke and Emery Dyke. They come to me from Texas. We've had so far one visit together, one well, two visits now, but one protocol that uh, they got to follow at home. And we're seeing some very positive changes for Emery. So I think if we could just share some of the things that you've noticed, because you've been part of the uh, community with people with Down syndrome, right? Since she's been born, and she's about three years old. So what is it that you've witnessed so far? And we started working with parts of the brain that help regulate emotions and regulate body function and regulate uh, personality and regulate speech and regulate development of all parts of the brain as well as which controls the pancreas. So what have you noticed so far with her with her uh, her personality? What changes have you seen so far? I mean after the first week of taking the protocol she was much more com confident already um, her Balance is a lot better, uh, obviously, with a Down syndrome and low tone. Um, it's a struggle to walk good and to jump and to run. Her balance has improved. Her anxiety has improved um, extremely. I can't even stress that word enough because uh, that's how her anxiety has improved. She was clinging to you. She was, like, afraid to be away from you. She was <clears throat> afraid of everything, and especially being away from me. So... Yeah, I, now she runs in front of me, and I don't have to hold her all the time, and I don't have to be near her all the time. And she's able to just go up and introduce herself to people? Yes. She's uh, shaking hands. Uh, she's... She doesn't feel overwhelmed being around a crowd of people anymore. Mm. She's not as tired anymore. So mm. that has and been That's great. And you also told me that before, she's three years old, so the first time you heard is about two, this is August 20th of 2019. You were here just about two or three months ago for the first visit, and before your first work up with me before the first exam or before you followed or you helped her follow the first protocol. Was she saying any words back then? She was saying a few words spontaneously. She, every once in a while, but now that, uh, yeah, I mean, especially the, after the first month of using the protocol, she has picked up in speech a lot. Uh, I feel like she can understand me better too. I don't have to continue to repeat everything. Like um, before that I repeat it, like that's a shoe for example, like a uh, hundred times a day to point that out what that object is. Now I feel like I have to show her once and tell her once what it is and she understands. Mm -hmm. And so, she's got some sentences you were telling she me. She does. Uh, she puts... And I'm sorry to interrupt, but before it was like one word here and there, sporadic and, and not too frequent. That's right. But now... And now she can put a three-word sentence together spontaneously mm -hmm. and she does that throughout the day. And she also starts singing songs with a couple of words in there. So that's very exciting for us. Because there were no, there was, only there, there was words no in. word, not one word if she was listening to a song. Mm -hmm. Now she's putting a couple of songs, a couple of words in that song that's that she's great. singing. And we're starting to see some changes with her blood sugar level. She's type 1, but you've seen some. You had a couple of weeks where there was no insulin needed, I think, that's and right. no blood sugar uh -huh. in the there, first protocol. There was uh, that one week where we were almost off of insulin completely we didn't even we didn't use any uh, slow acting insulin and however we did still use a little bit of long acting and now even with the insulin we still had bad blood sugars and now this last week we have had quite stable blood sugars with insulin of course mm -hmm. okay but so it's we're stable there. we're getting there yeah. But uh, definitely in this in this first, uh, while we're presenting this to you, is because people with Down syndrome, you're part of that community, and you've seen people with developmental problems. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. And so when I first met you, I noticed what was going on with her, with the anxiety and the, the fear and the panic that was going on in this room. And, uh, and that was while she was holding on to you, clinging for mm -hmm. life. And now, so we went to these different emotional centers in the brain, and we were able to find different infections and chemicals and get them out of there with this unique work. And you've noticed a dramatic change in the personality. And personality and also outward and appearance. Outward appearance? Mm -hmm. uh, her <clears> skin <throat> is, has more one complexion, it's not as marble. Mm -hmm. And her eyes, under the eyes, it's not as swollen. And mm -hmm. for me, that's, I just, I'm shocked. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very good improvement for us. 
Are you part of any big uh, Down syndrome groups out there, communities? Is there... Uh, we just moved to Abilene, Texas, so... I mean, yeah. online, do you follow yes. some groups? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, do you think that this can benefit other people who are living with Down syndrome? Oh, I am sure it could. Yeah. I am sure it would. Because yeah. okay. the improvement that we've seen in these couple of months, it's just dramatic. So, uh, I'm sure other people would see the same. Okay. Do you think that those people should come in? Uh, definitely. They should definitely come in to see Dr. Lonnie Herman. He has okay. changed our lives already. It's just been three months. Yeah, thank you. So I'll put the number up to my clinic here, and I'll put up uh, the email address that you can contact my clinic to be able to make your appointment. And I'm going to make another video describing some of the unique exam findings and the process that we did to be able to get her so much improvement with personality and with uh, with her development of being able to speak and be able to actually carry on with some songs all day in the car. So uh, you'll see that in another video. I'll test this one, and I appreciate you for sharing this with everybody. Thank you. And you're welcome. And we look forward to helping you too.